Hey guys, it's Exa, and welcome back to my channel. First, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. It really warmed my heart to see that some of you guys like watching and appreciate my videos that I have been creating. So for today's video, I am back to doing another fun, quick DIY clothing modification. The video is actually kind of broken into like two parts. So the first one is going to be me taking a plain old t-shirt and turning it into a really cute crop top um, with like a nice even folded over seam so it looks like it was professionally made you didn't do it yourself in 15 minutes. And the second one is going to be taking this loose oversized workout hoodie thing, make this into more of a cropped workout tee um, that does have an elastic waist so it's going to cinch in and show off your figure just a little bit more. I know not all of you are about showing off your figure at the gym, but you know, it never hurts to look a little bit cute. I know it motivates me to go be active. Today, we're going to take this boring, plain old white t-shirt and turn it into a really cute cropped tee. So all we're going to need for this project is a pair of scissors and some needle and thread. It's super quick, super easy, and you can turn any old $4 shirt into something really cute and fashionable. we are just going to pop it over towards the outside once and then once more so that way that rough edge that we cut is hidden inside the shirt and it's going to look like a nice finished even edge. Um, now once you do this you do want to kind of press it down and make sure that it's even all the way across and I went with about a one inch wide seam all the way around. Alright, so to sew this, it's super easy. We're just going to make little stitches back and forth through the inner layers of the shirt from the inside. So you don't want to go through that very last outside layer um, because then you're going to see it on the front. So we're just kind of going over the looped part. Uh, I'm probably bad at explaining this and it might sound kind of confusing, um, but hopefully the picture kind of gets the point across that we're going through the inner two layers so that way it's keeping that seam together and folded over but you're not going to see the stitches on the outside. This is also why I'm not using white thread. If you used white thread with a white shirt then it wouldn't matter as much if you, the stitches stuck out. So once we finished with that bottom hem we're just going to do the same thing with the sleeves um, just because I think it looks cuter with the little cap sleeve style it's a little more girly and even and also I really just hate the long t-shirt sleeves um, so again I'm just folding them over twice and then just stitching through the inside layers so that way it's nice and attached together and you're not seeing the stitches on the outside so you can go ahead and do this to each of the sleeves And lastly, I'm just going to press all these seams so they're nice and flat and have a lovely crease to them. If you have an iron, you can use this, or if you're like me and you've refused to iron clothes, you can use your hair straightener. The left side has been straightened and the right side hasn't, so you can see it's kind of puffy. And we just want to get rid of that puffiness so we have a nice crease. Ta-da! That took me about 15 minutes total and it came out so cute and now I'm ready for a day out on the town. You can honestly do this with any t-shirt if ones that's more fitted or ones that are more oversized. Kind of We're going to need some elastic, a needle and thread, and a pair of scissors and whatever top you want to use for this project. So I would recommend picking out a top that is bigger and like baggier. Um, style that you would normally wear so that way when you do add the elastic and cinch it in it kind of makes that cool like bubble shape. Um, obviously if something's already relatively fitted there's no point in putting elastic on it because it's not going to cinch it in at the bottom it's just 
going to look the same. So once again, our first step is going to be cutting off the extra length. Now, again, we do also want to leave about two inches extra beyond where you actually want it to end up sitting on your body, so that way we can fold over and sew in the elastic. So first you're just going to fold over the width a little bit wider than your elastic. As you see here, my elastic is half inch wide, so I'm going to make my fold a little bit bigger across them than my elastic, so that way it will fit nicely in this tunnel once we sew it together. So to sew this, we're just going to make small little stitches like we did on the last shirt, just on the edge um, to sew the fold over into a nice little tunnel that the elastic can then slide through. You are going to go from the back to the front, so you want to make sure that you get a thread that is pretty matched color to your hoodie because you will possibly see the stitches a little bit. Um, at the same time, though, you don't have to worry about them being super neat and tidy little stitches because when it is all cinched in together, it's going to kind of bunch up, so you're probably not going to see super defined stitches. So you're just going to keep going back and forth until you have stitched all the way around the shirt. Um, you do want to leave a little gap at the end so that way you can fit the elastic between the two. So I would recommend leaving about a one inch section um, from where you started and then where you finish open so that way we can fit the elastic in. So you're going to measure around your waist where the bottom of your shirt will fall and then just take about an inch off when you cut the elastic so that way it will fit snugly. Alright, so you are going to want to attach a safety pin um, to the front of your elastic so that way you have something to kind of push and shimmy it through the little tunnel that you made. I couldn't find any safety pins so I actually just shoved a bobby pin through it and that should work as well for you. So then I'm just going to go ahead and stick the bobby pin into my hole on one side and just start kind of pulling it through the whole shirt. Um, this is why you do want to have something hard in the front there that you can grab onto and kind of feel in between the shirt material so you can kind of shove it across and kind of weave it around. Um, so just do that all the way around, but make sure that when you get towards the end that you don't lose the other tail of your elastic inside the shirt because you do want to have both ends sticking out a little bit at the end so we can sew them together. Periodically as I go through I do kind of stretch back um, the fabric over the elastic a little bit more just so that way it's not super duper tightly bunched in one spot um, with all of the elastic hanging out at the end. You do want to try to get this as evenly spread as you can while you're attaching, sliding the elastic through. Um, you can do it at the end, but it's easier if you just do it while you're going along. So once you're all the way through, it'll look something like this, and you can go ahead and remove your safety pin or bobby pin from the end. So next we're just going to take our ends, put them together, and then just sew across um, so that way they are attached and one single piece. We want to do this instead of tying a knot so that way you're not going to feel any sort of bulge in it when you are wearing the top, and also that way the elastic can turn freely throughout the shirt. Um, this makes it hold up better when you have to wash it and stuff like that so that way it's not um, some bulky knot on the end that's going to bunch up in that one spot and be hard to kind of loosely twist around to make sure that all of the cinching is kind of even throughout the whole top. And finally, our last step is to just finish sewing it closed around that little hole that we used to put the elastic into the shirt. And once that is all closed, you'll never know where the seam was that the elastic went into the shirt and it'll look even all the way around. Well guys, there you have it. One quick, easy transformation from a baggy, oversized hoodie into a really cute, elastic
And now, I'm off to the gym. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you really enjoyed these two quick little tutorials of remaking some boring clothes into some fun, fashionable clothes. As always, if you try these out at home, I would love to see what you did, so please send them to me on Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit that little notification button. I have lots of fun stuff coming up in the next few weeks that you won't want to miss. So I'm Exa, and until next time, I hope your day is as beautiful as you are.